Is he awake yet? I'm not really sure. Um, I could check if you wanted me to, Kyo. Hmm. Hold on a second. Scoot over. <laughs> Sorry. Hey there. Are you up? Are you just pretending to be sleeping? Hmm. Hey. Hello. Senpai. You're not fooling anyone. You can either wake up, or I'll make you wake up. Yeah, I thought we weren't gonna hurt him. Without reason. You know, it's not like I want to hurt Senpai or anything, but if he doesn't follow rules, then I'm just gonna have to make him follow the rules. Do you understand? Uh, <laughs> Good. So, Senpai, are you going to comply with my request? Or am I gonna have to get violent with you? Uh, there we go. Look at those beautiful eyes opening. Uh, good morning, Senpai. It's good to see that you're awake. I was almost worried that I hit you on the head a little too hard when we took you. But it's nice to see you're okay. <laughs> oh. Do you know who we are, Senpai? I would assume you know us by now, correct? Yes, we are your classmates. I'm Kyo, and this is Miyomi. So, at this point, you're probably wondering why we brought you here. We'll explain that all soon enough. But for now, I just want to put some rules in place, you could say. So, here's the rules no running, no trying to escape. No, trying to pull any funny acts, no, anything. Because, you see, Miyomi and I aren't just ordinary girls. You've probably figured that out by now. Thing is, we're a little more determined, loyal, and violent. I mean, Miyomi's over there looking more innocent than I am for now, but I don't even think you want to know who she's killed. <laughs> Kyo, I thought you weren't going to talk about that. What? Afraid that I'm going to bring up your little daddy issues? <laughs> Shut up! I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Anyways, do you understand the premise of your situation now? You try to run from us, and, well... You're gonna have to deal with not one, but two very, very angry girls, and I can't see that situation ending well for you in any type of way. Anyways, you're probably wondering the reasoning for us taking you. I'll give you a little explanation. Miyomi and I have loved you for a very long time, but neither of us were aware. We are both very devoted and had our own way of trying to show our love for you. Now, I haven't been around long, but Miyomi's been around longer. And I'm a pretty nice person and very generous. So I overheard Miyomi talking about it one day. So, I took her off to the side, and asked her about it, and she admitted how much she was in love with you. And then I told her I was in love with you as well. Initially, it did start a battle between us, but we quickly worked it out. And then we decided, two brains are better than one, so why not work together to kidnap you, and keep you to ourselves forever? And that is where you currently find yourself. 
in a house with us. Now, don't worry. We'll let you be untied sometimes, and we'll feed you and stuff, and if you're obedient enough, we'll let you even leave the house on occasion. But for now, you're going to have to stay tied in this chair, okay? This isn't really up for discussion. You're going to have to listen whether you like it or not. Why are you trying to fight this? Miomi. Uh, he's trying to get out of his binds. Can you please show him what happens when he's disobedient? <laughs> Alright. Senpai? I don't want to have to hurt you, but if you don't listen, like Kyo said, we're going to have to get a little more violent with you. Hey, stop squirming and trying to scream through your... Stop. I said stop it! Right now. You don't want me to have to hurt you, do you? You don't want me to cut you like a fish, do you? <laughs> and you don't think I'd cut you open? Think again. I'd do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> I did warn you before. Don't fall for innocent side. It's just a little facade that she puts up for people around her. To be honest with you, she's more violent than I am. Do you even want to know what she did to the girls that liked you? <laughs> Don't tell them about that, Kyo. You might scare them. I think you're right about that one. It's probably best that I don't tell him. <laughs> Aw, oh, Senpai, you look scared. Maybe some cuddles will help you. Okay, Miomi, stop cuddling with the prisoner. Aw, oh, just when I was having a little fun. So, what are we gonna do with him now? Well, first things first. I think we need to move him to a different room. Like which room? <sighs> Maybe the basement is a viable option. But we had him in the bedroom because, well, he could be around us and stuff. Yeah, but he's being noisy and you can hear it through this window pretty well. All it takes is for him to get that muffle off his mouth and scream out the window. Someone's gonna hear him, come up and help him, and then boom, we're both going to jail. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Come on. So are we gonna untie him and take him down, or are we gonna bring the whole chair down? I say we bring the whole chair down. Alright. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. three. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You don't need to fight back with this. I mean, it's pointless. You're tied to this chair, you know. He's a little heavier than I thought, Kyo. You can say that shit again. Okay, here's the basement. Let's go. I'm sorry that the basement's so creepy and all, but you left us no choice. We can't trust you right now. We'll be back to check on you later, and maybe if you're good, we'll let you sleep with us tonight. Do you really think it's a good idea to leave him down here? Well, do you have any better ideas? Uh, uh no. Alright then, let's go.